Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play full lethality hyper carry Vi here in pre-season 12. For your runes, you're gonna want Hella Blades of Sun Impact, Eyeball Collection with Relentless Hunter, Alacrity, and Triumph, or Coup de Grasse. I prefer Triumph though, I think it does much better for team fights. Coup de Grasse you won't generally need. It doesn't really even give you an auto attack's extra worth of damage. Vi normally overkills people rather than underkills them. That's why Triumph generally performs better on her. You typically start with your bot lane for the best leash possible, though Vi does clear better off of blue side because it's more single target camps rather than multi-target camps. She clears multi-target camps well when she's level three though. You normally want to start W for your fastest clear. Get that extra attack speed bonus, that big percent based hits. Doing 4% max health, pretty big deal when something has a lot of HP like uh, buff. It's like triple your HP, so. Every third hit comes down heavy. Keep your attack speed up the whole time with constant autos. And uh, we're up against a Zed. It's an interesting, interesting match. I'm going to go ahead and skip Raptors. I want to get my clear done quick so I can pressure top. Singe is up against the vein. That's an awful matchup for him. I want to try to get there before he dies and loses lane. The matchup is essentially unwinnable. Uh, unless... Vayne's just making some really big mistakes. I'm holding on to my second E because of my passive. Waiting for that to be up. Comes up faster every time you land a full W. So three autos on the same target. Consecutive autos. Comes up three seconds faster whenever you do that. I'm going to go for the uh, Gromp next. I want to get level three. Auto attack E reset. Should be able to block two autos with that. I'm going to save the second E charge for our passive once again right there. And we'll be able to block another two autos. We used it slightly too soon to only blocked one that time. Still better than nothing. We're going to hold on to this E charge for a bit. Because we don't have the second one anyways. So might as well wait for passive. We're going to kite this towards our uh, gank. We're Oh, we have both smite charges as well. We could have used that there to finish it a bit quicker. That would have been completely acceptable. Auto attack E reset. Auto attack E. She's gone. It's a good thing we ganked top when we did. I want to try to shove this in so Singe can back. He's low on health. Since he's low on health, he needs to basically reset or he loses. He needs to get his health back, his mana back and uh, spend his gold ideally. We're gonna smite it in midair, take off its shield. We could have used that smite charge on a uh, blue or Groff as you saw, there's no reason to have two smite charges. That was a minor mistake on my part. So we, we wasted smite cooldown. You can only stack up to two charges, so we wasted like 20 seconds of smite cooldown. I want Vayne to reappear. Don't know why Singe is overstaying so hard. Zed did take his uh, Krugs, that's surprising. Vayne does still have her flash, I believe. She may even have her ghost. So we'll find out. Don't really want to gank her right now. Kind of want to reset, get boots. Or just grab. <coughs> I'll just go for the double long sword. That way we can spend more gold. And we also have some Relentless Hunter to where it's almost like we already have boots. We're already moving around at 350 when other people are moving around at 330. Movement speed. Jinx is shoved up. We'll go Ganker. I'm going to go right now before she gets testy and leaves. Right when she sees Lucian, she'll back. I don't even know if her support's still here. Looks like he left. Grax is going to get himself killed. We just walk up. We want to hold on to our Q so she doesn't flash it. I didn't know if she had flash. If you can come up behind them, you can hold it for as long as possible. Or even do, like as you get closer, you can kind of do what pikes do. How they hold on to their Q. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Because after you have it fully charged like this, you can still hold it for like three more seconds. So you can do that until you get closer and they're juking themselves to death. In that case, I didn't even need to use it since we came up so far behind. She had no counterplay. She needed her support. It seemed like he backed for items while she greeted out. She probably wanted an extra 100 gold or something to get 
an item she couldn't afford. Needed to communicate that to her support. Zed's just power farming, man. He's not even ganking. They've buffed Zed jungle a lot to where his he can actually do like 315 full clears. I made a video on it. Zed jungles. It's decent. Its main issue is it falls off, I'd say. It's not the most useful in the late game or even the mid game. It's, it's just kind of, oh, it's okay early game. The only thing it really has going for it is it's really good clears because all the bonus damage it gets for its monsters. Its ganks are nowhere near Vi's level of ganks with her hard CC. That being said, his team is tied in kills even though he has zero KP right now. So we'll see. They do have the Tarx scaling. We'll need to end this game. <clears throat> we can't let this drag on. I'm trying to get my level six there. I'm gonna ignite her. She's dead. I was trying to get my level 6 off the minions, that's why I queued through them like that. I, I wasn't even 100% if I was going to be able to hit her. Zed stepping up for the wave. Is being a turd. I didn't even want cannon, I'm just trying to help him shove the wave so he can reset. Because he's low on health and mana. Zed's about to hit 6, I'll ping out that he's level 5. Once he has his R, he'll be an all-in threat. I want to use my R before I back for items. That way I can get even more items, hopefully get my Eclipse done all in one go. Zed is level 6 now. It's just freaking full clearing, dude. I hate that. I hate it when junglers get to full clear and their team isn't even like suffering that much off of it. Cause like they get ahead of you he's, he's kind of ahead of me in gold now even though i have a kill because he's up to 17 cs he's up like four camps on me essentially auto attack e reset my bot lane's about to die probably should have gone there immediately all right i had to arm before he could r Who is Zed? I don't think Zed can kill anybody here. I think he realizes that. Even if I got there early, I think I would basically kill Tarek and maybe save Gragas. That's it. I thought my bot lane was just going to run to turret. In hindsight, I should have moved for it. That play turned it nasty. I can't believe the golem actually stopped his recall. What? Why is it attacking him? That doesn't make sense. They're not supposed to do that. They're supposed to attack the person who's attacking them. But they just randomly went after Singe. Oh well. Don't know where Zed is. It's making me a little nervous. That's why I'm pulling this away from the bush. I don't want him to get anything too crazy off. I'll revisit top when my R's up. I'll soak this minion XP over the wall. I'll reset. Tark's dead. Oh, Zed's going bot. I'll follow it. I don't trust my bot lane. Nice Gragas belly flop. All right, well played. I'm glad I stayed because I can get dragon now. Auto attack E reset. I'm going to hold on to Q as a potential escape. Get another point R E. Auto attack E reset. Block a dragon auto. Still full HP while taking dragon with only two long swords. That's nice. Got it. And now we'll reset. We're sitting on a huge bat. We've got a full eclipse. And our R is going to be up. Vi has really good AD scaling, so on her Q, W, E, and R. That's why Vi can get away with building AD items and still getting high value. And her gap closers are good enough to be able to justify it. Kind of like Vol Volibear doesn't have as good as gap closers. That's why building full AD on Volibear can be super hit or miss. If you're building full AD on Vi, as long as you're not behind, 
you're going to be getting pretty crazy value. And, uh, yeah, they, they buffed lethality items a little bit. They made them cheaper and a, a little bit stronger for Season 12. So that's what we're running right now. The pre-Season 12 buff lethality full AD via jungle. Auto attack E reset. She's a goner. We'll just keep playing around Sin. She's strong side. If, if uh, they try to force something on him, we'll win 2v2. Or if Vayne gets a big head like what she just did, she dies. But, and if I don't play around him, Singe auto loses. He gets he gets ganked once or twice, and then he just can never come back. Or Vayne just solo kills him, something of that nature. I'm moving 369. He's moving 360. He should be able to run him down. Get the R off. Yeah, he's going to R me away. I have Ignite. My Ignite wouldn't have killed him, so I'm glad Talon did that. I'll attack E reset. Thank you, Zed, for the gold. I'll go for some plates here. Their bot lane's missing. I'll keep an eye on that. I'll try to hold on to my Q. I wasn't looking at the mini map while I was fighting Zed there, so I don't really know where people are at. Got the wave crashed. Zier can't roam. You can't freeze it from there either. If we're going to win this game, we're going to need to get Dragon Soul or get the Heralds. I'll go get this Herald so I can get both so we can end this game. I don't want to drag this out. It's actually really late right now. Got to get to bed. I'm past my bedtime. <laughs> oh, man. I remember those days. Past my bedtime, my parents would be nagging me to get off. Like threatening to pull the internet, that type of thing. I'm sure there's a few people watching this who can relate to that. <laughs> I know there's somebody because... Back when I was, uh, yeah, living with my parents, I'd have duos where the same thing would be happening to them because we'd be playing late at night and they'd, their parents would pull the internet on them. If I, I mean, vain. <laughs> Q auto attack E reset. I actually had a, a friend who I really liked playing with. This was back when I was, this was probably back in season four or season five when I hit, had hit diamond and I was in diamond and climbing. He was playing Evelyn mid pre Evelyn rework. He was pretty good, and I was playing jungle. A lot of stuff like Fiddlesticks and Jarvan jungle. And uh, apparently, he was like on the chess team and he was like in all honors classes. And his parents would ride him so hard. I would literally hear them come in while he was playing. And it would be both of his parents, and I could hear it over the. I don't think it was Discord. I think it was Curse Voice Chat. It wasn't Skype. Curse Voice Chat was a kind of big for a while there before Discord came out. And they were just like riding him so hard. Like, I forget his name. It might have been something like Ty. Like, Ty, you need to get off. Ty, what do you think you're doing? Are you, are you crazy, Ty? You're doing this? You're throwing your future away. They're talking to him like he was doing drugs this whole... It was hilarious, but also really scary because I knew I was going to lose the game. Because that happened twice. So the second time, I, I knew they were serious, and they literally did. They just straight up pulled the internet. And then I just like stopped playing with him. It was too risky. He understood though when I told him. So like, yeah, I understand, man. Just one of those things. Wonder what happened to him. I had various acquaintances and friends back in the curse curse voice and Skype days where when I made the transition to Discord, I never really went through the effort of re-adding them, so I wonder if they're still on. Like Skype. I don't think this I don't think a uh, cursed voice exists anymore. The only reason Skype even exists is that the Microsoft owns it. Yeah, this game's over. This game is roasted and toasted. Lethality Vi was way too much for them to handle. Season 12 Lethality Vi jungles too spicy. I'll take this thing mid. Wait, what does that think he's doing? Why does it give him 30 seconds to jump back to his original shadow? It's ridiculous. He has boots, so he's actually outrunning me. Holy crap. I remember, it was probably like six months ago. You guys can check like 
the Zed Wiki. It was like six or eight months ago. They they gave him an extra two or three seconds on his R to recall back to his R. So when you're chasing him, like you're never gonna catch him because he can just recall back to his or his original R location. You only have the illusion of chasing Zed. Unless you have multiple people to run him down, there's just no way. Juked. Oh, smurfed. Cool. <laughs> That's so goofy, man. That that portal thing is kind of whack. I played three or four games of League today, and every single game has this chem tank soul. Why is that? Are they trying to get people to learn it so they're just forcing you to have it every game? I'll lay Herald before it's too late. I also need to back and spend my gold. We're sitting on a metric crap load of gold right now. Got the knockup. He's a goner. Goodbye, Zed. And he even had more items than me. Oh, <laughs> Lucian. No! Lucian, you can do it, bro. I think he thought Azir turret was still up. He flashes, pinches the kill. That's awesome. Their team is very AD heavy, all AD except for Azir and Tarek. I'll go for played still caps next item. I'll go for Umbral Glaive, right? 15 ability haste. You know, I'm feeling the Umbral. I'll give this item some love. No one builds it anymore. We'll get some value out of it. 50 AD isn't too shabby. It's very similar to the other uh, lethality items. Yomu's might be a little bit better. Oh, well. 15, 15 ability haste is good enough for me. We'll play for next Herald and then we'll end the game. There's no reason to drag it out. I know AD carries love dragging the games out for as long as possible. Because AD carries secretly the most OP role in the game because of their items. But uh, as a jungler, there's really not a single jungler in League of Legends that can outscale scaling roles like AD carry or conqueror, gore drinker, top laners. Like, try, imagine outscaling a Jax or a Trinimir top or an AD carry. That's, that's quite a, an accomplishment. <laughs> Double. We'll take that. Q into auto attack E reset. We didn't use anything else. It's just Q auto E. Q, auto E. It's like 90% of your combos on Vi. I made the mistake of using my Oracles while my Umbral Glaive. I think my Umbral Glaive went off there, didn't it? It made me one shot the ward at least. I don't I guess it didn't get triggered. Yeah, so it didn't go off because I had Oracles on. That's awesome. There we go. Are there any more words for me to break? Nope. What's that noise? Oh, they just got an objective uh, bonus because they're so far behind. E into Q. Only reason I didn't auto E then Q is you don't have quite enough time and she would have condemned me. So after the R, I just E'd her immediately into Q and she was permanently CC'd there. And I queued her into my teammate, kind of like uh, Alistar Headbutt, because her R puts you behind the enemy. I wish Tark landed that. I'll just watch Lucian. He's about to get jumped by Zed, I think. I guess we should have done Harold technically. That would have been the most optimal option, so we could end this wretched game! We don't outscale Jinx, and we don't outscale Tarek. Azir scales really, really well as well. I'd say Lethality Talon normally falls off. So yeah, we need to not die. Oh, I gotta move my second monitor. My second monitor is banging up against my first one. <clears throat> They're clacking together. Oh my god. It's three of them. Hey, buddy. That's a lot of damage. I'm loving this buff lethality item. 
I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to die. It's not worth it. Even if I get two kills and die, it's still not worth the shutdown gold. Oh my god. Like, I'm gonna die. Yeah, that wasn't worth. And Zed Lib. Jeez, man. 1600 damage from Zed? That's my whole health bar. Dude, he's got one item. <laughs> That's not good. So we'll get the edge of night and then we'll get sterics or something to round off the build oh man we're throwing they could very well win this game from here even if we get drag soul this would be very hard to win that's unfortunate i got a little too greedy Thought I could overpower the Zed because I had a full item advantage. I guess he landed absolutely everything. He did my whole health bar in terms of damage output. Before I bought this last item after I died, I literally did my health bar. And then uh, Jinx basically did my passive shields. Nice. Talon got it. He did some good damage. Caught her. <laughs> Caught her out with the Q. With the straight right hook. Oh, not like this. Yo, where's my team at though? Yo, team. <laughs> let's do let's do something about this Azir and Tarek here. Tark's about to get it. Got him. Still have R, still have Ignite. It's just the Zed and Bane alive right now. I hope Singe tanks for us here. Zed just went somewhere. He traveled with the portal. It's gonna kill my Talon. Auto attack. You reset auto attack. I probably didn't even need to R. It seemed like he was focused on here and he wasn't even looking at himself. He's not playing with lock screen. I panicked and thought he might hop over the wall, so I popped him with the R. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this full lethality season 12 via jungle gameplay guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.